Hi guys, it's Laura Giles with Pan Society. Thanks for tuning in. I've got a listener question who wants to know what is the best book for learning animism? If that is your question, stay tuned and I'll tell you what I think. about animism from a book well let me tell you that's not the best way to go about it in my opinion love books I have tons of books I read all the time so I'm definitely a fan of education however animism is a holistic spiritual path and it's one of connection and relationship and I don't know how much you're going to learn about that from a book so for example uh, a lot of books are created by anthropologists, and I read those, too. And well, unfortunately, what I've seen a lot of is that they take this very Western scientific approach of dissecting things. And they look at things in isolation and then try to make meaning of them. And you're really not going to make meaning of the an animist world in that way because everything is interconnected. It's like looking at an elephant and saying okay here's the trunk and then trying to explain the elephant from the perspective of the trunk it just really doesn't work i've also seen outsiders approach it from a spiritual kind of new agey um what would you call that um it's kind of a simplistic uh generic perspective like um these are the big ideas of animism and that can help somewhat. It's good to have an idea of what the big ideas are, but as you're looking at animist cultures, then you can really get confused if you look at them kind of generically because everything is a system. So what works for culture A is not going to work for culture B because they have a different geography. They have a different pantheon. They have um, different... Uh, maybe a different time so this one is you know from 5,000 years ago this one is present day all of those things matter so your animism really is going to be a practice for the here and now and that's why we created pan society because you can't just go and join an animist culture because it's something that starts from babyhood you're kind of indoctrinated into that from the time that you are born you know when you're American you're surrounded by Americans and that's how you learn to live as an American. And we're Westerners and you can't just pop in and be like, oh, I'm one of you now. It really doesn't work that way. And so with Pan Society, that's why we've, we've done it. So it is to give a new beginning, a new way of looking at it that we can all kind of develop together. We're starting from here right now uh, in the West with our Western mindset and seeing how it can work, that connection and that... Um, uh, relationship can work in the modern world so what I guess what I'm saying is have an experience you know if you want to learn about the plant kingdom go out in the woods go see you know raise some plants be somewhere where there are plants and sink your hands into the soil put your feet into the earth you know um, if you want to learn about the mineral kingdom go to the beach Breathe the air. If you want to learn about people, be vulnerable. Take a chance. Start talking to people. Have conversations. That's why we have the Facebook group, so that you'll have people to make connections with. If you want to be around animals, then you know you can have a pet. Or go to a farm and look at some wild animals. You're really not going to know who they are until you start engaging with them and having relationships with them and see how all of these things interact. You know, if you look at the soil, there's so many things going on in there. It's, there's minerals, there's plants, there's um, all kinds of bacteria that create this living matrix. And that's a beautiful way of looking at the matrix. Or look at a web, the way that the spider creates this thing. That's kind of what's going on out here. All these things are interconnected. And if you pluck one, uh, what do you call that, strand of it? then it impacts the whole thing. So you really can't understand it from a book. You can get pieces of it and maybe put those pieces together, but if you only have three pieces and it's a hundred piece puzzle, how much are you really gonna understand? 
you got to throw your tentacles out there and feel it. So, yeah, my advice on that, read the books if you want. I wouldn't take them too seriously. Have your experience. Learn from your heart. Learn from your gut. Your mind is only one piece of the puzzle. Have a holistic experience. And come join us on the Facebook group. Ask questions. Um, share your inputs. That's really going to help to build that web for you. So I know it didn't really answer your question, um, but I hope it gave you uh, an expanded way of looking at it and other ways of tackling the problem. So love to hear from you. Please like, share, subscribe, send us your questions. They really do matter to us and hope to see you on another pan video soon. Ciao.